Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the 1992 Stratus Rehab Project. We're into week five, so the day 37 update starts next. Stick around. Okay, uh, last time you saw the boat, we did not have primer on it. Uh, I had some primer in the compartments that are fiberglass and gel coated. Um, that turned out pretty well i got some drips and stuff that i'm gonna have to sand out but primer is very sandable and in the last three days uh i managed to get with some help two coats of primer on the entire boat by roller um, i tried spraying it it is so thick and the, so heavy with solids which makes it such a good primer that i could spray it it was more like a spatter coat and i didn't want to add any more sanding and i switched over to rolling and honestly it's a lot easier the only problem i have with the rolling is in the tight radius is like inside the compartments and in these kind of places um, you have to use the foam the small like one inch diameter foam rollers and i don't care what they say on them as far as being solvent proof or resistant none of them work very well um, I've ordered in some more expensive automotive primer roller covers to see if that makes a difference. But honestly, the Amazon ones that you get 10 for 10 bucks were just as fine. Uh, so I wound up using those. Um, the one thing about this Total Boat, Total Protect primer, when I was mixing it, it is a epoxy primer. So you have to mix it exact ratios it's not like a polyester resin primer where you can adjust the catalyst um, to adjust your curing times and it was 85 degrees last week so i found out that you really can't mix more than about 16 ounces at once you have to let it sit for a 15 minute induction period then you could thin it with the total boat 200 epoxy primer thinner but then you had about 30 minutes to get it on the boat before it got real tacky. And believe me, 16 ounces of primer goes a long way. Um, I've got a total of two coats on everything. Um, some of the compartments have three coats and I've used just two gallons of primer. So it, it went further than I thought. And honestly, the inside of the compartments seem to take up twice as much as the rest of the boat. Now that might just be me because I'm upside down with a full face respirator on because the VOCs are pretty strong coming off of it, especially when your head's in a compartment. Um, it just, it seemed like it took a lot of pain and it took forever. It did take a long time. Um, we'll do a quick walk around. I have started sanding yesterday afternoon. Um, it was the first time I had a day cure on it and I started messing around with some sanding. And honestly, it sands pretty easy. So I started just playing around with it here because I had some pretty serious orange peel um, and, and roller and brush marks because I did use a brush in some of these tighter spots. But I started sanding this and we've, it's still early. We've got a heavy deal on the boat. So wiping it down, getting the dew off of it. You know, I still got some work to do in this corner, but it's getting pretty slick. Um, I did some more work up front because one thing about this boat is there is not one flat spot <laughs> on this boat that matters. Um, the flat spots that are, are on the boat, the flat spots that are on the boat, I mean, they're going to get covered in sea deck anyway. So it, having them perfect is not as big a deal. But this is where I had started really trying to finish the primer sanding and it is looking pretty good i've got a little bit of work to do again i got a few little just just a trace of orange peel left in some of these spots um, i will tell you that it's pretty easy to sand through on these corners you have to be careful you can sand on what is relatively flat it's actually not flat and you can sand in here but when you cross a corner it's really easy to sand through and that's not that big a deal um, the existing gel coat did not necessarily have to be primed. 
before I put gel coat on, but areas like this, where this is fairing compound, I'm gonna have to touch that up with some more primer. Um, I was planning on three coats of primer. The two coats covered it pretty well. I, I wanted to do a rough sand to see how smooth I could get the boat before I put the third coat on. So what I'm going to do today, and I've got help coming this morning about nine once this dew finally dries off and we can do some work on the boat. Um, to help sand it, we're going to do a rough sand on the whole boat. Um, and then decide whether it's a full coat of the primer for the third coat or I'm just going to spot prime areas that we actually sand through that have to be recoated. Because if you don't recoat the total fare, they say the gel coat will blister over time so we're, we're going to coat this kind of stuff and just carefully sand this before we put gel coat on the other thing that i got taken care of this is our seat base um like i had said in the last video or a couple videos ago that you know i for the new style for the new ranger style seats to mount i got mounting holes you know here and here and that gap didn't didn't really need to be there you can still get to the wires for the sending unit with what i have left here honestly it's not that hard to take the whole seat base out if you needed to work on the fuel tanks i can't imagine ever working on those sending units without pulling this so i probably could have filled the whole thing anyway but i still got some touch-up work to do i've got some screws to pull here that are holding it in place while it was setting but it is it's solid i'll fill this flush so the back of the seat will hit a solid flush uh, mount point um, and then it's sand and sand and sand now where i did hang on <clears throat> so this is the new extended casting deck and like I predicted, before I put primer on, it looks a lot better with primer on it. You know, the colors are gone. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of sanding and maybe even some more fairing to do. But for this fairing after uh, primer, I, I could go back with the total fairing compound or the total boat, total fair, the green stuff, and, and fair it and sand it, but you'd have to primer over it again I think what I'm going to do is take my total boat five to one epoxy and mix up uh, the glass microspheres in it, which turns it into a structural fairing compound. Um, mix up small amounts. That stuff will not have to be primed afterwards. It's not as easy to sand, but in the limited places that I'm going to have to do it, I think that makes the most sense as far as time savings. Um, we also have changed my mind. We have changed my mind. Got a lot of input um, on paint scheme. Um, I'm not sure, but let me tell. You, let me see what you guys think. Okay. Originally, this boat was red, black silver stripe and then you had that's black and that's red no that's black that was silver with the stratus logos in it um, what i think we have decided now is you know this is going to be the moon dust gel coat with a bronze metal flake um, and we're not going to put the stripe and we're not going to put the black back on the cap we think and that i've been sold on this is that boat looks pretty sleek in one solid color and if we had moon dust black gel coat and then this is going to be an emerald green metal flake it's going to look pretty sharp and we're just going to leave the top the cap itself as moon dust with the uh, bronze metal flake in it. 
The other thing that I think I've changed my mind about is this boat had a silver or aluminum handrail that came from here, came down, and then you had a grab rail basically. And I left that hole there because I thought I was going to put it back. I found the parts to put it back. I didn't buy them yet, but I think I'm going to fill those holes because um, it's got a really racy looking lines to it. And I think if I add those grab rails back, I'm going to lose that. I may just put some grab hand. I've got some, uh, some nylon web, really cool looking grab rails that I bought for the little boat that I'm going to try in here and see what that looks like. Just so the, the passenger has an oh shit handle. Um, I've been a passenger in a lot of tournament boats. Uh, one of those handles is nice, especially if you don't know the boater and how well they drive. So anyway, Today's project is sand, and sand, and sand, and sand, and sand some more. So hopefully between today and tomorrow, I'll get to all of the rough sanding done, and then we can decide on primer or not, the third coat, because Monday, uh, we will be pulling the motor. Probably should have done that to start with, but again, this is my first total rehab. Uh, lessons learned and somebody made a comment on one of the last videos about why I didn't pull it um, and honestly the reason I didn't pull it is I didn't have a hoist um, available and I didn't think I needed to but now we are going to do a hydraulic jack plate so the motor has to come off anyway so we'll take it off take the manual jack plate off and then I'll sand and prime the transom and get that ready to go so we do gel coat, one coat. We do gel coat all at once. So I don't have any seams I gotta hide. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is, one of the first things we did is we separated the cap from the hull because it was partially separated anyway. Uh, so Monday, we'll be using 5200 and some temporary screws to uh, put it back together and seal it up watertight. Um, the rubber rail will come later. It's about a $500 item. I just ordered it. Um, the taco rubber rail, it, it, the one with the best reviews, it looks pretty sturdy. Um, and 50 feet of it is $500, which is what you need to do a 21-foot boat. So anyway, we're coming along. This was day 37, at least the beginning of it. Um, sanding is to come for days. And then hopefully gel coat end of next week. So today I'm going to be doing some practicing on my gel coat spraying with my AccuSpray and a 2.0 tip. Um, I bought that 3M AccuSpray specifically for this boat project because I didn't want to have to pay somebody to spray it. And I didn't really want to wrap it. I wanted to see if I could actually spray gel coat and make it look pretty. And if it doesn't work out, I can always wrap it afterwards. So... Anyway, that's day 37. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.